Welcome to another WD Sentinel S series basic training and how to. Last time we transitioned our R2 Essential server to standard. Today we're going to show you how to take that server and join a domain. There are actually three states you could have this server in. In the last video, when we entered our, our standard key, we could have left the server as a standard for Essentials role running as a primary domain controller and Active Directory server. But what we also did was we demoted that server into a workgroup server. This is a great mode to be in when you're in a branch office or you have a workgroup uh, and you uh, don't want this server necessarily on the domain. Today, we're going to show you how to join this server as a member server to another domain server. We received a couple of emails from the last video regarding licensing and users. When you have Windows Standard, you can add as many users as you want to to the Active Directory server. The 75 users and devices was a guidance around Windows Client Backup, the backup feature. If you're not using that feature, of course, you want to check the performance against your line of business application. You do have to buy a separate standard license from the WD Sentinel S series as we come pre-installed with Essentials. In terms of uh, Client Access License or CALS, if you have, this is only purchased if you have new users in a new work group. If you already purchased a CAL as part of your standard existing domain, you don't have to buy a duplicate. And again, this is an advanced session. Familiarity with the Windows Server 2012 R2 Essentials and standard licensing information is important. Today, let's jump into standards with essential role and joining the domain. The first thing we're going to do is point our network to the DNS of the primary domain controller, the, in my case this is my DS5100. Next we're also going to do the add roles and features and click on remove roles and features and remove the DNS server. This will actually be done during the Windows Experience cleanup but we, go, we went ahead and did it here separately. We're going to repeat the same process of clicking on Add Roles and Features and then click on Remove Roles and Features, but this time we're going to click on the Essentials Experience. The reason we're moving the Essentials Experience is you can't do the domain join cleanly with that role turned on. The, uh, the uh, under, underlying layer will continue to want to point to itself on the DNS, and so we're going to go ahead and, and remove the experience. As we wait for the uh, experience role to install, I'm, I'm speeding up the video by one and a half times. Um, as the server gets done and reboots, what you should expect is that we, uh, we will be joining the domain and then re-enabling the experiences role. The experiences role allows us to rewire up all the WD services, the LCD panels, and the fan control. In step three, let us join the domain. So what we're going to do is launch server manager and click on local server. You can click on then the, the, the work group mode and uh, start to use the wizard to join the domain. So take a few minutes. Uh, again, I've speed up the video by one and a half times. Here I'm actually selecting a different name than the original uh, server name. Uh, you can leave it the same if, uh, if, you, uh, if you like. When you log in, you'll have to log in using the domain admin account uh, rather than the local administrator account. Once authenticated as an admin, the server will reboot. And on the other side, please be patient as the, uh, the server is actually reestablishing its its connections to the domain and also its identity. It essentially looks like a new server. After reboot, I've launched Server Manager and clicked on Local Server. You can see I have a new computer name and I'm joined to the domain. Next, we're going to go through the process of re-enabling the Essentials role. We're going to launch Server Manager. We're going to click on Add Roles and Features and just follow the wizard to uh, where we need to click on the Essentials experience. As we go through the process, it does take a little time, so I'm speeding up the video by two times to, to three times the normal speed. 
This whole process takes about 20 to 30 minutes. It's uh, uh, the first uh, uh, pass will actually install the, uh, the dashboard components. You will need to go through a second phase which is called the post config wizard and um, as you go through that process if you have a server that's been used before you may need to take some extra steps. If this is a clean new server you should be able to re-enable the uh, Essentials experience. Now in my testing I used a server that I had configured before so uh, on my post config kept getting installed at 87 percent and so in uh, Dialog of Microsoft I've learned to delete these registry keys. I launch server manager I click on the events flag and pick up right where I left off the post config will continue to resume the install. Again, using Server Manager. From there, it installed successfully and correctly. There will be a, a reboot that takes a little bit longer as it re, uh, re uh, constitutes those registry keys that we deleted, but from there, you should be able to successfully use your server in Essentials role, both as a standard server. Uh, and then with the usability of the dashboard that came with R2 Essentials as well as with the uh, WD services. You can see here my uh, server never actually lost any of the folders and shares or users that I created before it uh, got transitioned to standard and joined the domain. Join us next time as we show the integration with Office 365 and then if you have any topics or suggestions please do send them in. Contact us at smbpresales at wdc.com.